Okay, today we are at GOMA lesson 10, 8, and we are basically changing shapes that we already know the area of. So if I were to take a shape and make it larger, so maybe I've blown up a picture, and I need the dimensions of that picture. So that picture was originally 3 by 5, and I blow it up to 3 times as large. What would it come out as, right? So if I took a picture that was 5 inches by 3 inches, and I want to make it three times larger. Blow it up real nice for Mrs. W, and we're going to put it on our wall, right? Got a cute picture. So what I end up with is I ask myself, well, how much larger does the area need to be? Well, most people would say, well, I know that the area of a parallelogram equals length times width, which means area equals 5 times 3, or area equals 15 inches squared. Now you can say, well, it's three times larger. That should be 45, right? 15 times 3 is 45. But don't jump to conclusions because this is squared, which means it's going to be three times larger, three times longer, and three times higher. So what does it actually look like? The easiest way to solve this is to make yourself a second copy. And if it's three times larger, that means it's 15 inches by 9 inches. 3 times 3 is 9. 5 times 3 is 15. There's my blown up one, right? This little guy is exploding out to this big guy. I use the same formula, and I take my time, and I solve it. Area equals length times width. 15 times 9. And I go 15 times 9. 9 times 5 is 45. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 4 is 13. Area equals 135 inches squared. Whoa! Huge difference between those two. And you might say, whoa, well, Mr. W, it's, <laughs> it's 135 inches. Well, how is that even possible? Well, when I, I stop and I ask myself, it's three times larger, that's actually three times larger by three times higher, which means it should be nine times the area, because it's squared. It's three squared larger, OK? So you might go, oh, well, it's 15, now it's 45. But it's not, because I'm making it three times this way and three times this way. That means the whole thing is going to be nine times the surface area. So if it were two times bigger and two times higher, two times two would be four times the surface area. All right, so let's see what that looks like in your book. Boop. Jason has created a three inch by four inch rectangular design to be made into mouse pads. To manufacture them, the dimensions will be multiplied by two or three. How will the area of the design be affected? Well, you might say, all right, well, the area equals length times width. That's four times three, so the area is 12 inches squared. If I multiply it by two, I should get 24. If I multiply it by three, I should get 36. But don't jump to conclusions, ladies and gentlemen. All of this is about not jumping to conclusions in this classroom. We write it out. We test our theories. We are scientific learners. So let's test. If the original was 3 by 4 inches, and we go 2 times larger, the multiplier of 2 will make this 3 times larger for the multiplier of 3. 3 times 2 is 6, and 4 times 2 is 8. Now this new shape is 6 by 8. So area equals 6 times 8, or 48 inches squared. Now remember, it is 2 times longer and 2 times higher. That makes it 2 squared of the area. So 2 squared, or 2 times longer by 2 times higher, is 4 times larger. And 48 is certainly 4 times larger than the original 12. Same idea. The new dimensions, if I go times 3, 3 times uh, the original, which would be uh, 3 inches. 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 times 4 is 12. So this is now uh, dimensions of 12 inches by 9 inches. So area equals 12 inches times 9 inches. 9 times 12 is 18 plus 1. That's 108 inches squared. So it's 3 times longer times 3 times wider, which means it is 3 squared 
area is squared, which means it's 9 times the area. Okay? The surefire way to do this, and this will be on your test, just like everything else we're explaining, take your time and actually make a second copy of the problem, just like we did with the original with the mouse pad or the picture that we blew up, right? We took our original picture we saw for area. We took our new picture. We applied new dimensions to it. If it's three times larger, what's three times the length? What's three times the height? And we solve it, and we find that it is nine times the overall size. So I'm going to do one more for you here. A stained glass designer is reducing the dimensions. So now we're going the other way, right? The dimensions of the triangle shown will be multiplied by one half or one fourth. Yes, you can divide by two or divide by four. They're just multiplying in fractions. We can do that because we've been doing that since unit two. So I take my overall dimensions and you can say, okay, well, it's one half times 16 times uh, six, which is one half times eight times six, which is 48 centimeters squared. I'm smart. I did it in my head. But you're not done because now you need to multiply by fractions. Stop doing that. That's a whole lot of brain power I just used. Instead, take your dimensions and figure out my new triangle, what is half of my other triangle? Well, my new height would be 3, and my new length would be 8. What if it was 1 fourth? Well, 6 times 1 fourth would be uh, 1 and a half. 1 and a half. And 16 times 1 fourth would be 4 centimeters. And then solve the area there. So, for example, area equals 1 half base times height or length times width. That's 1 half times 8 times 3 or 4 times 3. So the new area is 12 centimeters. Look at what we have here. If this was 48 centimeters and I cut it in half, I actually cut it to 4 times smaller because it's half the length and half the height. So it's four half squared, one half times one half. That's one fourth of the original shape. Same thing holds true over here, where I have one and a half and I have four centimeters. When I do the math on that, area equals one half base times height, one half times two times one and a half, or one times one and a half, or one and a half. The whole area is one and a half here. Well, from 48 to 1 and a half, I didn't go four times smaller, multiplying it by a fourth, because I went four times smaller and four times shorter, four times four. I went 16 times smaller on this particular shape in total surface area than this one. The shortcut is to write out the work. Actually, make yourself two new shapes and write out the work. So whether you're multiplying and making it larger or you're making it smaller, realize the area is squared. So I have to take into account if I'm making something twice the size, right? I'm making it twice the length and twice the height. Two times the length times two times the height is four times larger, okay? Since things are squared, area is exponential. The only surefire way to do this is to start with your original, draw yourself out a new one, put in the new dimensions, and then solve it. So take your time. Start with a formula, show your work, and check that you're doing the right thing.